You know, Earth Day just recently passed. Yay, so, Earth Day! I love Earth Day, yes. So we're going to talk about alternative energy versus big oil. Okay. So again, this is Grand Cougar, the predatory lender, talking to you about the economy. Now, Earth Day just recently passed, and we're talking to Elmo from thestreet.com about Earth Day. Yeah. Now, the alternative energy stocks haven't done quite so well at, compared to big oil. Now, do you think alternative energy is uh, something that we should be looking at? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what we have to do is get, we got to put more money into exploring the alternative energy and coming up and trying more solutions. They're not putting enough money in it because they're waiting for results, and they don't. You can't get results until you do it first. Okay. Now, um, in comparison to big oil, big oil was up like 49% versus the alternative energy sector in the 8 to 13% range. Right. Do you think? Alternative energy is something really worth investing, seeing that most investors are pouring their money into big oil? Yeah, I think it is because we're still going to run into oil. If we can get alternative energy started, then we don't need to purchase oil abroad. So we need to invest, like like Obama says, we need to start practicing what we preach. You dig? Or do either that or offshore drilling, which is already causing a problem. Um, now, what's your outlook over the next 12 months for the alternative energy sector? Well... I think in the next 12 months, we're going to see more green, uh, 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 more uh, uh, alternative energy-free cars on the street. We're going to start seeing a lot more of that because of with the, with the rampage of like Toyota and all these other people having problems with their regular car, people are going to start investing more into green and try to, uh, try to make that, they're going to push it along. Next 12 months, I think, with the, the government adding some money, we'll have much more uh, money to, to uh, experiment in that field, too. Okay, so uh, those three questions, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so again, this is Jarbon talking to you about the economy. Peace! All right. Uh, Go a long way. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait for them to finish. There we go. That's a natural thing. All right, do you have one for um, Alice yeah. as well? Appreciate it. Thank you. Is that a Porsche symbol? I, I didn't know the Predator drove the Porsche. <laughs> Actually, that's Trump. That's what? Donald Trump. Oh, it is Donald Trump, All right. Yeah. Trump you, Institute. You Trump. Work for him, he doesn't pay you enough. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, good. No. Okay, so point it to one of these guys and press record. Right. Really? We're going? Really? Yeah, we're going. We've been going for about 40 seconds. All right, good. Okay, do you want to be in this? No, thank you. All right, okay. just you and me then, I guess. That's good. Right. Give me the money. So again, this is Grand Kuka, the predatory lender, talking to you about the economy. Now, Earth Day just recently passed, and we're here talking to the Mad Hatter about the alternative energy sector. Now, we understand alternative energy and big oil are subjects that concern you quite a bit. What do you think of the alternative energy stocks now that Earth Day is here? I think it's a great idea. Are we talking about like corn, right? Corn, gasoline, corn, all that? alternative energy, wind, solar, all the huggy feely greeny stuff. Oh, good. Whatever it takes, honestly, because the gas is just killing us. I mean, let's face it. I mean, yes, you have to cut down some cornfields, but they regrow. As long as we're saving all the greens that are like, you know, becoming extinct, which are not many, right? So, as long as we have the corn, gasoline, I think it'll be much more better. Or even solar. Does that count as an um, alternative? Now, do you see, because um, the big push towards corn, do you think we'll possibly be raising food prices due to this big push towards um, by using corn for fuel instead of um, eating it? You know, that's a very good question, actually. But, but if we do end up doing that, I may start my own corn field personally. So, but yes, I mean, that'll be terrible. But I'm not much of a corn eater, so I think it'll be okay. I'll be okay with it. Well, actually, one of the largest consumers of corn is livestock and meat. So if you're a big meat eater, it's going to increase the prices of meat and uh, other uh, meat products due to uh, the higher feed prices. So is that a negative for your argument there? Could be, honestly, because America, we use a lot of corn oil, isn't it? Like, we, we need that all the time, almost in everything we do. But you know what? If we eliminate the corn oil, we'll all be a much healthier like Europe. They don't do that stuff hardly at all, right? And then we won't look so, um, so much bigger. <laughs> so in closing, what's your outlook for... Um, alternative energy versus big oil over the next 12 months or so? Well, the prices of big oil, I'd rather go with any direction that the government is willing to go to make it cheaper, because it's getting ridiculous, honestly. I can't drive five minutes without paying $20. I, I, shoot me in the head, right? So, yeah, I'm all for it. So, in closing, this is Jarbon talking to you about the economy. Okay, 